So hello there, this is Only One Kenobi here, Only One, and I just wanted to do a really quick video, uh, something I saw on a Facebook group I'm a member of, and it was a really good idea. I saw it and I thought it was good, and then the more I thought about it, I, I thought it was brilliant, it got better and better. And it's for something that necessarily didn't float my boat in the vintage collection, which was mini card backs. Now, if you know my channel, you know that I don't own VC66 and 67, and there's a couple of reasons why. The main reason is the money. I cannot afford the price these things go for now. It's crazy on the secondary market. They are the most expensive card backs and figures that you can buy in that line without question. The other reason why I never actively sought them was because they don't match the rest of the line, if that makes sense. The card backs are smaller. Um, they sort of mismatch in that respect. And also, there is no way officially... Well, I, I tell a lie there. There must be somebody who's invented a card back case or something to protect them in and hang them up or whatever. But there is no Protex Star case for them. And all my figures I keep in Protex Star cases. Because <sighs> there's only two of them, you see. They're just a bit of an oddity in the vintage collection and an expensive one at that. Even though they're pretty cool and quirky. You know, who I love Salacious Crumb. The mouse droid's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I'm not paying the amount of money they go for. However, this guy was suggesting that Hasbro should make a line of minifigures and I thought what a great idea because he went on and he said how that you know we listed a few characters and then other people chipped in and they had ideas and I would like you in the comment section yes you you know list a few people or characters or whatever that you think would work in this line so let me cut to the chase this guy's name was Paul I did actually comment and say you know if you wouldn't mind me mentioning him in the uh, in, a, in a video I'm sure he won't mind because he wants the word to be spread of course but um, I won't use his family name because, you know, data protection and all that. But yeah, certainly check out that group. Um, I'll leave a link to it below. It's a, one of the biggest groups for the Star Wars vintage collection in the world. There's one for the UK as well. This is an American group. Anyway, enough yada yada. Let's talk about it. So, you know, obviously we have Salacious Crumb and the Mouse Droid. It proves that they, ha they exist, that scale of card. And the idea is there. They've done it. They could do more. Let's move on. Here are some of the characters that he mentioned, and they're really good ideas. The first one is obviously, you know, on everyone's mind now is the child, AKA Baby Yoda. Now he's already a really small figure in the six inch line, but he would be ridiculously small in the vintage collection or three and three quarter inch scale. So there's no place better than for him to go than this. Other ideas that float in my boat were the interrogation droid. Not only is that the right kind of size that we're dealing with, it sort of matches the mouse droid in scale, but the car back as well, New Hope, brilliant. It would look awesome. You've got other guys as well, like the Return of the Jedi, the frog guy, the <laughs> him, when, you, when, the, when R2 and 3PO first go in Jabba's palace. I believe that frog guy is some sort of spy, I believe. I don't know his name, let me know in the comments but he would be cool. Speaking of names, if anyone knows the name of this droid, let me know. I have this loose, I'm happy to say, just so you know. But um, that's the kind of scale as well. It's really good. That New Hope scene where, you know, blast it. He's nowhere in sight. You know, they just lose R2-D2. And then, you know, Luke's on his binoculars and they're looking for him. That droid just scuttles past. That's perfect as well. So then, you know, people got onto it and they started commenting with other ideas. I'll go through a few very quickly. Barbo Frick. That that one comes to mind. That would be an awesome car back. Little Dio. Ah, uh, very, very kind. Squeaky wheel. <laughs> Whatever he said, I love that guy. He's cool. Our friends, the Pogs, dare I say. <laughs> cue, cue cricket noise. <laughs> yeah, so they could, they would obviously work in this line as well. I just thought it was brilliant. Um, a while ago, I got given a little mini blue milk card by Blizzard Force Customs. Now he gave me a load of card backs um, a big Stark Lighter and a few others, but then he included also this mini blue milk. And I remember having it in my hand thinking, wow, technically I've got my first mini card. I presume he did it to the exact same scale as 66 and 67, but it was awesome. And I thought that's a really cool idea. Maybe they could do quirky things like that as well. So speaking of customizers, there's this guy on um, Facebook. I see a lot of his posts and Instagram. He's really good. His name is Wade. You can follow him on Instagram via his group, star.wars.vintage.customs. Believe me, he does really good work. Now, check this card back out. This is BB-8. 
Now that is on a full size card, you can tell by the proportion of the size of BB-8 there. And then, you know, but BB-8 might qualify for a mini line. However, with regard to BB-8, that's a brilliant custom by the way, isn't it? Um, with regard to him, he, he, I think I prefer him on a full size card, even though he's only little. That's the final thing I wanted to say about this whole idea. Going back, right back to the original guys, the, the original mini the trio, if you like, the Jawa, R2, and and who was it now? Yoda. Um, it always crossed my mind that you were getting less bang for your buck with those. You're getting significantly less plastic for the same amount of money as a bigger figure, basically. Um, but because they go back so many years to the 80s and 70s and stuff, that you know, it works. And Hasbro have brought some of those guys back, you know, a modern updated R2-D2, and they've given us the Jawa. Now, the thing about the Jawa was, sort of digressing here, um, I said for yonks that, you know, that, you know, I wanted that Jawa card back in the vintage collection in the modern era. I suggested that they could give us two on one card, change it from Jawa to Jawas, so you got more plastic. Because one thing that I tip my hat to, to Hasbro for doing is with the vintage collection with smaller characters I'm talking about Rats Tyrell now and Ben Quadranaris they consciously gave you more plastic they gave you those little guys characters and then they gave you like say a pit droid extra you know so that was a really nice touch I thought they could have done the same with the Jawa the Jawa they did repack is actually the fat guy the big Jawa <laughs> yeah you know he, he so you're getting more plastic there I suppose R2 is a is a bigger character than BB-8 but again BB-8 I don't know if it's just the fact that I'd like to see him on a bigger card I'm just saying where's the line drawn there you know wh how far do we go um, how, how small do you have to be to qualify for this line? But it's still interesting. All these really, really little guys like Dio and the uh, Mouse Droid and, and all these things, they've got a, a potential line there. And if they make that line, I would embrace it because I would make a space for a string of these on my wall as opposed to just having those two ridiculously expensive figures somewhere. I'd probably have them in a drawer or something. So there you are. I just thought it was a really good idea. I've never been a fan of these small kind of like cards, as you know, because Bruh. of the price. But now, I think it's a really good idea. But as with all these things that I do on my on my channel or we talk about all the time, it really is down to Hasbro at the end of the day. Would they do it? I don't know. But I hope you have enjoyed the idea. It's not my idea. It's a guy on that group who's, who came up with it, and I thought it was a fantastic one. Then again, you know, I can make a video out of it. We can generate more talk about it. Put that hashtag on there. We're talking about the scale of 3.75, the future of the line. Why not? So if you've enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. Do subscribe for more. And also don't forget, please name any characters in the bottom there in the comment section that I might have forgotten. Let me just have a look at me photographs now. I did some screen grabs earlier. See if I've not forgotten anybody. No, I think I've pretty much covered everyone there. So anyway, awesome. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Only One Kenobi. Only One. Out.